For those of you who may not know, DMCA is the Digital Millennial Copyright Act. Without going into too much detail here, it's the main way people can protect their intellectual property online where everything is very easy to copy and paste. However, the DMCA is easily weaponized, as platforms for fear of legal repercussion take copyright claims very seriously, and it's easy to issue one even to the point where action will often be taken before the issuer has proven that they own that IP. DMCA has been at the forefront of many scandals online, in the most recent being the music industry's take on online streams, often issuing DMCA strikes against streamers who play their music in their background. This can lead to the platform from taking action against the streamer, everything from a warning to a flat-out ban. All this to say that DMCA can be very damaging to content creators and can be very hard to fight against, so you may be surprised to learn that Frogware has issued a DMCA strike against their own game. There are many examples of DMCA strikes causing havoc for an individual's YouTube channel or Twitch stream, both big and small. But just earlier this year we got an example of what happens when a copyright complaint is levied against a developer on Steam. This is Luciform, a 2D platformer developed by one-man developer Chaos Games. In an imager post, Chaos Games describes how a DMCA strike hurt his game. Upon launch, Luciform had over 5,000 views on its store page. However, soon after that he was hit with a copyright strike. After a few hours of back and forth with the third party who issued the strike, Chaos Games received an apology and the strike was receded. It took a week for the game's store page to go back on Steam, which I'm told is actually fast for Steam, but sadly the damage had already been done. Money spent on the game's marketing was lost as potential customers were only able to find an error page on Steam, and influencers hoping to review or play the game in front of their audience couldn't do so. Chaos Games also theorizes that because the store page saw no traffic during the time of the strike, the Steam algorithm had deemed the store page as a failed one, and no longer recommends the game to potential customers. After a year of solo development, a careless copyright claim has severely hindered Luciform's release. As you can see, a DMCA strike can be extremely hurtful to a developer's account, which makes Frogware's decision to strike their own game a drastic one. Frogware had been working with publisher Focus Entertainment, developing several Sherlock Holmes games. However, after pitching a Lovecraftian horror game, their publisher liked their idea but decided to hire developer Cyanide to create the project that became Call of Cthulhu. Being replaced for the Lovecraft-inspired game soured their relationship and Frogware left Focus Entertainment for Nacon, releasing their own cosmic horror game, The Sinking City. A year before its release, their relationship with their publisher once again fractured as Nacon purchased Cyanide in 2018. Frogware had said in a statement later, they couldn't fully trust Nacon from this moment and minimize the communication with the publisher. As development was wrapping up on The Sinking City, contract disputes broke out between Frogware and Nacon. Frogware released an open letter accusing Nacon of changing terms in their contract, including preventing them from collecting any profit from sales of the game on PC. The game was taken down as the battle went to the courtrooms. However, Nacon brazenly decided to try and pull a fast one by torrenting the game and uploading that version to Steam for purchase. Frogware caught on to what their publishers were doing and issued a DMCA strike against Nacon, and it worked. The pirated copy of the game was removed from Steam. This feels like a rare example of the DMCA being used correctly and doing its job of protecting Frogware's IP, in this case The Sinking City. For as much damage as a DMCA can cause, a decision I'm sure was not taken lightly at Frogware, but it seems to have been successful in this case. However, the court ruled in favor of Nacon. The Sinking City returned to Steam in late 2020 with Nacon listed as the publisher. This insane story does have a happy ending, as Frogware has recently released their latest iteration of adventure games in the Sherlock Holmes series this week, Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Oh, and they decided to self-publish this one.